Hi guys, today's lesson is going to be on pedal techniques. Now I did a lesson a few months ago or whatever on different pedal techniques that I use and that I teach my students and I sort of presented it as comprehensive like every pedal technique ever but eh, it wasn't really. It was a lot of them. It was the main ones. It's the ones that you see used a lot um, but it wasn't the only ones and so today we're going to talk about some more pedal techniques. I found this really cool PDF by a guy named Jean Paolo Gillian or something like that um, and it's a Creative Commons thing so I think I can link to it I'll try to do so um, it's a PDF of just common pedal techniques for the drum set an easy reference guide so um, we're gonna go through some of these and quite honestly we're also going to talk about some confusion that there is surrounding some of these techniques including with me I'm confused okay so I'll just say that up front so I'm just gonna use this setup so I can manipulate the thing uh, here without having to be able to play the technique well, which is good in some of these cases because I don't know how to play every technique on this list because it's a ridiculous list. There's a lot of stuff here. Most people can't do everything on it. It's just how it is. Um, so the first thing under the basic techniques category is heel down playing, which I think we've all heard of and can do. You put your heel down, you play strokes with the toe, right? Easy. Okay, then there's heel up ankle motion on the sheet. I call that floating, most people do. Um, some people call it flat foot, which is weird, but um, it's where your heel is up, but you just play from the ankle, right? You're just playing toe strokes, basically from your ankle, like this. And your heel doesn't have to be super high, but it's pretty chill. Okay, um, then there's heel up ankle leg technique, which, so in this case, you would play an ankle stroke, and then you would drop your leg in to the second stroke. Ankle stroke, leg stroke. It's like a double stroke. This, I've been told, is actually similar to the sliding technique where you play a note back here and then a note up here, right? One here, one there. Well, of course, one's going to be sort of ankle and one's going to be followed through with the leg. Dun dun for two, right? So I think sliding is a sub variant of ankle leg. Um, it's the same idea, okay? Then there is heel up leg, which is just the entire leg moves up and down, right? That's your basic heel up technique. Those are what are called basic techniques. Okay, then the sheet goes on to do what are called hybrid techniques. And one of them is heel up bouncing, where you bounce your heel uh, as you're playing. And that's cited as commonly being used on the hi-hat, which I think I agree with. Um, then there is swiveling, which we've talked about on this channel, where you move your foot inside and outside. Right, this can be played as sort of single strokes in a repetitive manner, especially for double bass. Um, and you can also do a quick one to get a double where you play a note and then you play a very quick note to one side or the other, right? And so swiveling singles, swiveling doubles, um, however you want to phrase that. The heel toe rocking motion, right? Everyone talks about heel toe these days. Right, where you're going to play a note like this, where you bring your heel down, and then one where you pick your heel back up with your toe, so that there's two halves. And this is where the confusion comes in, because that seems simple enough, but there are several other things on this list that sound exactly like that, and may or may not be exactly like that. There are nuances. Fred Gruber's constant release in this uh, hybrid technique category. And um, it says on here that it just combines all the other hybrid techniques into one which I looked it up in a bunch of places, and the constant release seems to be like heel-toe, only it's a little less violent. You kind of, um, you, you're rolling and rocking on the pedal, whereas heel-toe sort of has this big, you know, two halves. You can do one half, then you can go back and do the other half. Um, constant release seems to be a little bit more connected together, according to most people. I don't really know. Okay, I'm just saying that straight out. Now this sheet on it of course has um, some Jojo Mayer stuff in the advanced technique category. Um, so he has a rocking motion which sounds a lot like heel toe where he just goes back and forth and plays like a double stroke like this. How does that differ from regular heel toe or constant release? I'm not really sure. No one else on YouTube seems to be really sure either because I've seen exactly conflicting reports from different people as to what Jojo really does, what constant release really is. You know, there's a lot of opinions, not a lot of authoritative opinions. 
Um, okay, then Jojo Mayer definitely has a different one called the power slide, in which he actually, uh, when he does the heel toe motion, he starts his heel toe back on the pedal, slides forward for the heel portion, then slides back for the toe portion, like this. Instead of just doing heel toe in one spot, it actually moves back and forth on the pedal. So that one we can easily see is actually different. Power slide, it has a name that suggests what it actually is. Then there is the molar pumping motion. This goes right into that category with constant release and the heel toe where I can't see a difference. So Russ Miller, who you would think is really authoritative, says that the molar stroke has like a splash heel stroke and then a toe stroke, which sounds exactly like heel toe. And he goes further to put a triple in. He'll go the heel stroke, a tap, and then the upstroke, which is cool. It's like the molar triple for your hands. Um, heel, tap, up, right? Cool. Um, but that suggests that the heel and the toe are separate motions. I've seen other lessons on YouTube by other guys, not as authoritative as Russ Miller, but who sound like they know what they're talking about, right? And they'll say that molar is very connected and that heel toe is separated. So directly contradicting Russ Miller. What's right? I still don't know. So um, that's a cool thing to think about that there are many variations of these same techniques, more than I know, more than I've taught in the past. Um, they're on the sheet, you can read the description for yourself, and if you know what the answer is, or you think you know what the answer is between constant release, molar, and heel toe, you should let me know in the comments because I'm currently quite confused. Um, I think that I mean, more research needs to be done. I've always taught heel toe as sort of one technique with a couple variations, and this sheet and some other YouTube videos I've seen seem to think that it's many techniques. Uh, and that they're not really the same at all. So um, basically, if you got any insight, let me know, or at least give me your opinion on what you think is what. Maybe we'll do a little informal poll. Um, but those are all the bass drum techniques that I now have heard of. Not that I can do all of them, but uh, those are the ones that are apparently the real, all the techniques that there are. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this was somewhat informative, and we'll see you guys next time.